Father of Peter, once again from the Diocese of Sacramento, let go, let God, let go all the worries and anxieties in our life and let God, let God take over it. Haku na matata, don't worry and be happy. Letting go, letting God, surrender it to the Lord and it's easy for us to continue our journey in this earth and in the world to come. I will be meditating on the Gospel of Mark chapter 8 verses 1 to 10 today is february 12 and it's saturday soon after what jesus was in the midst of another large crowd that obviously had nothing to eat so he called his disciples and said to them i feel sorry for these people because they have been with me for three days and now they have nothing to eat if I send them homes, they are hungry, they will faint on the way. Some of them come along the way, and his disciple replied, Where in deserted place like this could get enough bread to feed these people? He asked them, How many loaves have you? And he answered, Seven. And he ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground taking seven loaves and giving thanks. He broke them and handed them to his disciples to distribute, and they distributed them among the people. They also had some small fish. So Jesus said a blessing and asked that this will be shared by all. Beautiful gospel. The multiplication, the miracle of the bread and the fish God provide His people. You can see the abundance of His blessing and grace. He feeds us all the time, and we can connect it in the Holy Eucharist. Every day when we go to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, when He said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, and this is my blood, so that you have eternal life. This is the miracle that Jesus performed in the same people. We can connect also our life because all of us are hungry, not only for the bread that we eat, but we are also hungry for the food, the word of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. How can we connect that in this beautiful day of Saturday? We can connect that, that we have to encourage our loved ones, our old families, especially our friends, to go to the Holy Eucharist so that they will experience the miracle that they are needed in their life. Only the Eucharist is the antidote of immortality. Only in the Eucharist that we can feel and fulfill because Jesus is fully alive. So my brothers and sisters, encourage your loved ones, encourage your friends to be present in the Holy Eucharist every Sunday or every day if they have time because they will experience the miracle of the bread and the fish that we are needed the nourishment the bread that we are needed every day only the lord can satisfy us only the lord can feed us on his body and in his blood in the holy eucharist as we all say before the communion lord i'm not worthy to receive you but only say a word and I shall be healed. God bless you all and have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.